delectably adorable. Why do we have this bizarre impulse to cannibalize cute baby feet and just gobble up adorable kittens and puppies? Well, science has an answer. <laughs> Look, we're not advocating that you go out and eat a baby. How irresponsible would that be? But perhaps you can relate to the perplexing impulse. The baby is cute, defenseless, and even as you coo in its face and hold it like a fragile vase, you kind of perversely just want to nibble on its feet, earlobes, or cheeks a little bit. And if you've ever encountered a grandmotherly cheek pincher, well, then you've encountered this very impulse in action. Yale psychologist Oriana Aragon devotes much of her work to human emotional connections, including the those negative reactions that emerge from an overwhelming positive emotion, something she calls a dimorphous expression. You love that baby so much you want to bite it. You're so happy you burst into tears. That sort of thing. In a 2014 study, Aragon and her team presented test subjects with images of babies, some more infantile than others. They charted their emotional responses to each image as well as the duration of the emotional charge. They found that test subjects who showed more bitey, pinchy aggression when looking at a cute baby also also showed a larger drop-off in positive emotion just five minutes later. Aragon suggests that dimorphous expressions may be a way of rebalancing the scales, normalizing after an intense dose of the cute. That five-minute drop therefore seems to demonstrate how negative emotions allow us to moderate intense positive emotions and restore us to balance, thus preventing a true cute overload of explosive proportions. Hey, while you were watching us, we were looking at your synaptic connections. And we figured out that these three videos are the best match for your neural architecture. Enter the paranoid, delusional, and outright depressing world of space madness. It's difficult to watch, we know. To be eaten alive, or worse yet, swallowed whole is one of the worst fates imaginable. And it all starts with a simple fold, changing the material's memory, changing its destiny.